struggling to find a purpose for your pain? God does not allow you to go through the pain for the sake of afflicting you. There are reasons he's watching and giving you the grace to go through it without being broken. Are you going through lots of pain and sorrow? Do you need help in what you're doing, but you're now seeing the help coming to you? You might be in that pain, but there is always assurance for you too. Never think God is not just to let such things happen to you. You might be confused about the reason, but it is best known to God. Pain is a birthing process that brings forth the best in you. You cannot get the gain without getting the pain. When there is no pain, there will be no gain. Everything you're going through is fully known by God and he is always there to help. The purpose is to make a person strong. There might be a task that God wants you to carry out for him. He wants to send you on a special mission. He wants to give you the desires of your heart with training that will help build you to sustain that blessing. You are always the one to benefit the move of God in your life. It could be a sickness that has lingered far too long. Perhaps it's a long-standing medical ailment that can only be managed but not cured. It could be a relationship that is causing you pain. Other family members unable to get a handle on life and you're left suffering the effect of their actions. It might even be your job that drains you or your boss whose only aim in life is to make you miserable. Or maybe your pain has to do with your faith. God is silent. God is absent. God is not answering your prayers. God may want you to discover your strength through the pain. When James talked about the trails of life, he described them as a test, but not so. God can see how strong you are. God already knows that pain is an opportunity not for God to see how strong you are, but for you to see how strong you are. If you want to see how much weight you could press in a gym, the only way to get that out is to press more and continue to press more. You may have not known what you're capable of doing until you go through some level of discomfort. You could be thinking that might be the end of your life, not until you have gone through that pain and you are not hurt or broken. God will be watching to give you the strength needed to absorb the pain, but he wants you to discover your strength through it. God wants the pain to expand your endurance. Most time as a Christian, you may not know what it is to endure unpleasant situations because you have always had the help of the Lord every time. But it is the will of the Lord to teach you how to endure it and be happy through the experience. God will always allow you to dwell in that need you may have been asking and says he will provide it but for a long time you have not received the promise of the lord it's not like god is changing form his words but he's only changing you from that christian that does not know how to endure to that christian that can endure you will always see how good the lord is helping you to grow in that aspect of your life you may think the situation will take your life. You may think the time is going to be late, but with patience and endurance, it will work perfectly in you. Then you will see how the Lord will do it for you and you have the best of what you're asking for. When you're tested through the fires of pain, what forged on the other side is perseverance, endurance, the growth is gradual and takes some little while, forming you into the purpose of the Lord.
If you're training for a marathon, for the first time, you're not going to be running the marathon at your first day at training. You're going to start with running one mile, and after that, you will run two miles, and from there, you run four, five, and expand the scope of your training. In the process of time, your body will be built up to endure the necessary task of running the marathon you have desired to run. In the same sense, pain expands your endurance and gives you the strength and ability to persevere through even the most difficult of circumstances. There is no easy way to build up endurance. You have to endure something challenging. There is purpose behind your pain. God wants to use pain to teach you what pleasure and fun can never teach you. In the Bible, when James was talking about perseverance, that will lead to the completeness. He is referring to a complete cover of the understanding of life that only pain and hard times can teach you. Can you see from these two college students and see which one will you think is more prepared for the real world of life? The first college student had never gotten the luxury of life from childhood. They had to work for what they wanted, making plenty of mistakes along the way, and learning lessons gained only through trials and errors. Along the way, they developed a resiliency born from their discovery of the strength within them to overcome. The second college student has never had to want anything in her life because there was enough for their provision, her parents gave her everything she wanted and they protected her and shielded her from trails, lack and pain. If she ever gets into trouble, her mother would have gotten to the principal's office to plead for her and prevent her from consequence. Can you ask yourself which one of them is more prepared for the real world? It's very obvious that the first girl. You could ask why. Because pain and what you experience teaches you what you would not learn from pleasure. That is why James described a life of perseverance and endurance as one that is lacking nothing. To get everything you need in your life, pain is always a necessity. Without pain, you would never truly appreciate what hope is. You're going to get the riches of your hope to endure by fully enduring the pain. God may allow you to go through pain because of the blessings and the reward that he wants to give you. Apostle Paul said, 2 Corinthians 4.16 Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly, yet inwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being rewarded day after day. For our light and momentary trouble are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Those things you're facing may not add to your physical life, but the pain and the trail of your faith may be building you to fit into the demand of the qualities that will help you gain eternal glory. God might allow you to go through that pain because he wants to take away some bad attitude from your life. He may allow you to run into trouble sometimes just to draw you to himself. You may have lavished your money and you're finding it difficult to make another. You carelessly lost your job. You carelessly indulged in acts that have led you into some health dysfunctions. You have called God many times and he is saying he's going to do something about it, but it's taking some time. Well, God is taking those times to teach you the benefit of accountability and sensible financing. That you don't spend your money on everything that comes your way. The healing of your health is taking that long time because God wants to give you a sense of appreciating good health. All these things are the blessings you're receiving from God through the pain and the things he allows you to go through. 
God may allow you to go through that pain because he wants to draw you to himself. You may be a Christian, but you're not where God wants you to be in him. There is a knowledge of God and it's the desire of the Lord to give you that knowledge and bring you to know him and be closer to him more than as you have always been. The reality is that comfort tends to make us forget about God. For some going through pains and hardship make them leave God and to some going through the same pain, suffering and hardship makes them seek God more. They will always remember God and run after God when they are in pain because the reality will occur to them that it is only by the help of the Lord that they can be delivered from the pain. You must come to the knowledge that God does not fail and he cannot fail you in that pain you are going through. He knows that you're pained by your situation. He knows it is wearing you apart and you have endured for a long time and nothing seems to be improving in the situation. God knows the perfect reason. He has allowed you to lose your loved one. You may have lost the only help that has been your supporter or probably you're looking up to them for the comfort of life. God is not wicked to allow you to go through those experiences but he's only purging you and building something in you for a better life. You don't have to be scared of losing your life or not recovering from the loss. Stick to God. After that, the time for him to deliver you and bless you has come. You will see that those pain and the bad days are not for your destruction. Rather, they are God's way of building you into a great person. Every great man you have always respected and celebrated has at a point in their life gone through pain that almost discouraged them. Pain that almost made them lose hope in their dreams and their pursuit. The devil wants to make you lose that hope in that time of trails but one thing is sure, no matter how painful, how hard and unbearable the situation has become, God is always there for you. He's always there to help you go through them. He will do everything to sustain you until the things he wants in you is achieved.